the cooperative movement was founded in Ireland by a man named Sir Horace Plunkett uh, back around the, I think, the 1880s, 1890s. Uh, it spread fairly rapidly throughout the country and there were creameries in Mayo in the 1920s and 30s, but they had all fa failed out before my time. Uh, but you'd hear it in discussions. Uh, it was revived by Markham and Ferma and Palmer's Clubs and the IFA later on in about the 1960s and 70s. That's when I got involved. And it was modelled on more on the Danish experience where the, control, the cooperative movement controls everything in Denmark. Uh, the main was involvement here of course was first it, several attempts to form a cat mat, which eventually succeeded after about the third attempt. Uh, there was resistance to cat mats nationally because they brought trade away from various streets and shops, even though there were fair days, the whole town was filthy and uh, I don't know how the tidy towns committee it it work, <laughs> except a, a suggestion would say that they should be revived, I just don't know, I cannot imagine it. But uh, there was a lot of opposition from, we'll say, from the Lewisburg town and from Newport town, that the idea of removing the local fairs. And in Westport, I'd say, in fairness, uh, the townspeople would be delighted to get rid of it out around the edge of the town someplace, as eventually it was done. But again, uh, Westport is on the fringe of the world, on the fringe of the country here. Uh, the Atlantic comes right up to our doors, so to speak. And the number of cattle, I suppose, really speaking, that's available, just didn't justify a mart, and eventually it was closed down. And there is some new development planned for our for the, the, the site at the moment. My involvement with the cooperatives was mainly through the Cropetic Cooperative Society, which was a fertil mostly fertilizer and animal feeding stuff. Again, in the 50s, 40s and 50s, uh, this thing of fertilizer, uh, it came in, in by rail, and uh, everything came in in six ton wagons not 10 ton, straight in the sea, and it was in 200 weight bags. It was slave labour, but it mildly handled it. And then we did a deal with McDonough's and Galway, and uh, I didn't wasn't involved at this stage. Uh, lorry transport was organised, and direct delivery to farmers was carried out. In at a later stage, we purchased a site on Castlebar Street, belonged to an old man named Frank Welch, and where the Castle Court is now. And uh, I was involved there for a number of years. And again, times uh, increased, times was modernised, and eventually that had closed down as well. Now, what was the objective of the co-op? Was to get a better price for the farmer? Or? To get a better price uh, for the farmer and to get dependent uh, supplies uh, uh, available as, and to get it delivered. That was one of the main supplies at that time as far as the fertilizer was concerned, that it could be delivered to the remoter areas. Naturally, shopkeepers didn't want to be wasting their time delivering that. Mm. But uh, uh, it was a big big and difficult thing to organise delivery to, to places like the water areas of Algol and Otelina and the down to Morani and Eccle and these places. It's, a, it's, a, it's all changed now. At the time it came in as a, a 200 weight juice sack, a powder, fertiliser was in powder. Today it comes a granulated clean product in a hundred, a fifty kilo uh, plastic bag. It can be stored out in the open. Uh, it's rainproof, and it's uh, easy to handle. Even though, and again, now that fart gifts have come in, 
uh, I was involved in purchasing the first forklift to ever seen in Westport. People came to have a look at it. It was a, it was a, a, a big event. Uh, today there are every year it has more. Now, um, uh, the, what has caused all this I really don't know. They, they, they introduced production of the diesel engine and the diesel was very cheap in them times as well. Uh, that had a big change in farming, in tractors and uh, haulage, etc. Did the co-op movement fail, mention it? No, the co-op movement is, is uh, it has it changed, it moved into dairying and uh, processing in that line. Uh, all the cattle marts uh, the country are, are co-operatives, very near in them anyhow, definitely the ones in the west of Ireland. And uh, uh, no, the cooperative movement is, is quite a substantial section of, of, of the country's trade.